What's going on, everybody? This is the king of physical media back once again with another VHS haul. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. So pretty please, with sugar on top. Now let's talk some VHS because this weekend, the thrift gods were good to me once again. Shout out to my boy Burf on that one. The first VHS I'm going to talk about today is a bit of a cautionary tale. I found this clamshell of a movie called The Mighty Kong, a King Kong animated movie that I honestly didn't even know existed. So I was kind of looking forward to finding out more about it, but when I actually opened up the case, I found only a tape for that lazy broad Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Always check the tape that's in the case before you purchase a VHS. I usually do, but this is the one time I broke my own rule. But luckily it only cost me 50 cents, so it didn't really matter all that much anyway. What a idiot! Up next we have a hard clamshell case of Rambo First Blood Part 2. I actually already have this movie with a regular VHS cover, but this case was just too cool to pass up. Again, it kind of reminded me of the cases you used to get when you would rent a movie in a video store. And the other clamshell that I got is probably my favorite find of the week, and that's the original Superman starring Christopher Reeves. I'd like to send a special shout out to Mama Reels for assisting me with this one. This is a legendary movie and was a big reason why I'm a DC fan to this day. And honestly, I've never seen it in a clamshell case before, so that made it extra special. Moving on to other superheroes, I also got... Daredevil. This is a movie that's received a lot of hate, and rightfully so in some instances, but I have been meaning to give it another go and maybe watch it through a different lens this time. I know a lot of times people like to shit on things from the past to make more modern stuff look better. Not necessarily saying that's the case here, but it's worth noting that it's been a long time since I've seen this movie for me to fully judge it. Up next, I have a couple of Star Wars pickups, and the first one is The Making of Star Wars on VHS. This appears to be a documentary on the making of A New Hope, which is my second favorite Star Wars film of all time for anyone who's keeping count. I also picked up Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. I now own two-thirds of the prequel trilogy on VHS. I'm still missing Episode Three. I personally think Episode Two is the weakest of the prequel trilogy movies, but I still have a lot of good memories with it. The biggest one being the first time we ever see Yoda in a lightsaber duel. That moment particularly stands out for me in this movie. Do or do not. There is no try. Up next I have Gone in 60 Seconds, partially sealed. It has the plastic on it but not on the bottom. This movie's a guilty pleasure of mine and it is one of my favorite car movies actually. I think the final car chase in this movie is highly underrated and you gotta love Eleanor. It's an absolutely beautiful car. Up next we have Exit Wounds starring DMX. I had to pick this movie up considering the recent passing of the legendary DMX. This is one third of what I like to call the hip hop karate trilogy that DMX starred in. Definitely a cool pickup for me. Up next we have the original Austin Powers. I now have two-thirds of the Austin Powers trilogy on VHS. I'm only missing Goldmember. I think Austin Powers is one of the greatest comedy trilogies of all time, so I'm definitely hoping to complete this trilogy at some point down the line. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. Up next we have Mission Impossible 2. This is probably the weakest Mission Impossible movie in my personal opinion, but I do love this franchise. In fact, I think it's one of the best action franchises around. Also, side note, this movie has my absolute favorite version of the Mission Impossible theme. If anyone remembers, it was the Limp Biscuit version, which I think was pretty cool actually. Next up we have Crocodile Dundee 2. I have a soft spot for Crocodile Dundee movies. I actually already have the first one on VHS. And I always like part two because it feels like two movies in one when you watch it. It. The first half of the movie takes place in New York, and then the second half, Crocodile Dundee has to go back to the outback in order to escape these drug lords. Up next, we have Rush Hour 2. I'm still looking for the first Rush Hour, but I always like Rush Hour 2. I find it to be a worthy sequel. That great chemistry between Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker continues in this movie. But you one crazy ass bitch! I also picked up Backdraft. Backdraft features two of my favorite actors in the same movie. We have Kurt Russell and Robert De Niro. This movie was kind of a big deal back in the 90s, and I do find enjoyment in it every time I watch it. Up next, we have Malcolm X, which is a double VHS. Being a huge Denzel Washington fan, I had to get this one. Regardless of the fact that I can't stand Spike Lee, this is one of Denzel's best performances, and he makes Spike Lee look better than he actually is, in my opinion. Okay. All right. 
I also picked up Canine. This was a movie I watched a lot as a kid and might be partially responsible for why I love dogs so much. Of the person and dog buddy movies that were coming out around this time, I think this one's far superior to the more talked about Turner and Hooch. For my next two, I'm adding to Schwarzenegger Row once again. First up, we have Collateral Damage. This is one of his later movies and it's not quite as memorable as some of his more early 80s action classics, but anything Arnold's in is enjoyable to me, so I had to pick this one up. And I also got Eraser. This movie features James Caan versus Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can't get much more high tea than that. And last, but certainly not least, we have one of the greatest movies ever made, and that is, of course, Heat. This stars the amazing Al Pacino and Robert De Niro in the same movie. This was actually the first time they were on screen together. And honestly, if you've ever seen the movie, you know this to be true. It 100% lived up to the hype. They have a scene in a restaurant in this movie that's basically a master class of acting. It's two of the greatest of all time going toe to toe. It's a perfect movie. Trust me, go watch it if you haven't already. Because she got out. Great ass! So that's it for this week's VHS haul. Let me know what your favorite pickup was in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Shut up.